Welcome to the front seat of the car. Thank you. Uh, this is the first time in an entire week that I am in the front seat of the car. We just dropped Ben's mom and sister off at the airport and we just finished out a week of touring with them and it was amazing. We did so much this week. So we'll go ahead and start with our first stop uh, as being a tourist in our own city, which is going to Niagara Falls. It's so good. Where's she going? Over here is Canada. All the cool buildings are Canada. <laughs> Ben and I celebrated being married for four, five oh five, <laughs> for five years, and that same day was also my eight, oh, my nine year, <laughs> my nine year baptism anniversary. Five years. We are out for dinner for our anniversary, and look, Ben not only got me a card, he got me two cards, and yes. I got him. Nothing. What? <laughs> my love. Got you, my love. This place is amazing. I have. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so good. <laughs> Old famous cheeseburger. Right there. Right there. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Oh, I can see your arm. Oh. We will forever remember. <laughs> Let's see it. We might as well see it. We might as well see the porn. Oh my gosh. I'm <laughs> the knack of eating extremely fast. I already ate my burger, but you asked for hot sauce. That's what it is. It's like a where's my finger? Like Here's a meat my hot sauce. sauce. That's our hot sauce. Oh, there look at that, in action. Everyone wave! All right, Emma! All right, all right! The waves are 
are crazy today. Vacation! Do a jump! <laughs> Where's your vacation jump? <laughs> Park, and what does that mean to the people watching? Waterfalls on waterfalls on waterfalls. Waterfall for days. So this is actually number one park in all of New York State. Is it New York State or what is it? Well, it's the number one in New York State, but it was number one in the whole country. Oh, well, there you go. Ben came here with the kids when I was in Norway and I guess the story goes that Christian took his Iron Man toy and chucked it in the water. Is that what? Right here? That ledge, sure. That ledge we were just at? <laughs> so pretty! Look at the mess. Oh, we're getting wet! Do you feel it? Do you feel the water? Oh my god. That is wild. Take a picture. Smile. Smile. Aww. Did you get it? Yeah. All right. Here's the second waterfall. Oh, I'm getting wet. That's awesome. 
that's where we just were right there. Wow, cheers. Mm. Get two hands. <laughs> well, I just came out of this cocoon. That one next to it is about to come out because of the dark color. And those ones just formed. These guys hanging upside down will be in a cocoon within a few hours. All the ones upside down are getting ready. Are going to be undertaking quite a journey all the way to Mexico. So first things first, the sticker goes on the underside of one of the two back wings. 140 is another oh, male. So they're tickling because they're, the cool, bottoms huh? of their feet are kind of like Velcro. Going to Mexico. Butterflies. Okay, so we are here on our last night in New York. <laughs> we brought a sister and a husband <laughs> and some hooligans. All three of them. <laughs> Christian's like speed walking to try and catch up with the dog. There's another one right here. This is like the <gasps> eighth one we've Look at seen. That. I can see that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we got our swans. How many people can we get in the trunk of the car? Alright. The answer is two. Maybe two. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Over so I can sit on you and then lift this part up. <laughs> oh. This is me all week long. I don't have the upper body strength. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I just I'm told Gracie good. this is the Batgirl car. <laughs> okay, you guys, get off of the car. I was choking. That's Batman's car. Okay, okay, get your fingers off his Jaguar. <laughs> right over here at the beach. Gracie just gave her a dime to pay for her ice cream. Can I still like caramel and vanilla? What do you think, Gracie? Good. There you go. Alright, that's cool. I think you look really handsome. Hey, baby, want to look at me? What'd she say? I'm really beautiful. You <laughs> are beautiful, Gracie. Oh. You're beautiful. It's true. Do you think Dad's beautiful? Got a lovely yeah. face. No? It's handsome. Oh, he's handsome. <laughs> Ice cream place is just right there. We're gonna stick our feet in the sand now that we're all sticky from ice cream. <laughs> it's the yeah. greatest idea I came up with. <laughs> Tell me what your favorite part about New York was. And you can't say grandkids. Uh, you can't say me, though. Aww. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, greenery and uh, vibe. Emma keeps saying vibe and the green. Emma says the vibe, vibe. is better here. Yeah. The vibe? Yeah. The vibe. People are nicer. Mm -hmm. Christian yeah. fell. I think people yeah. are nicer here than here. What? I do. They've been nice to me. Well, yeah. everyone I've it's a little more so laid back, I think. Not as. I oh, like yeah, probably. The, energy's yes. more. I don't know. Oh, what on earth? Energetic. <laughs> oh, do you hear? that stuck to him. Look at that. You're so dirty. Oh my gosh. Look at all of it. <laughs> Do you want to take a bath? Bye. Okay. 
Um, Christian accidentally turned the shower on. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. It was a lot of fun to see you. And I miss you. And we'll see you soon. Yes, we'll see you soon. Bye, Christian. Bye. We love you. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you. into this week's message and montage and the message is of course inspired by my nine year baptism anniversary i'll go ahead and start the music you want to start the music babe go get to the message and montage and i'll see you next monday i cannot believe it's been nine years since i got baptized it all started with a quest to prove those elders wrong they don't need the gospel and these blessings they were working towards was all in their head Despite my motives, despite how I felt about religion, despite feeling content with how my life was, despite feeling confident and happy with the direction I envisioned for myself, I was wrong. But I never would have known that if I didn't actually do anything about it. I changed. Not because someone told me I had to. Not because I was searching and not because I was unhappy. But because my awkward efforts to prove the missionaries wrong. I became better. I became stronger. I may have thought I was happy before, but it was only because I didn't have anything to compare it to. I didn't know any better. Happiness is fake and fleeting without God and His ways. I know that because I went 21 years of my life thinking that it came from somewhere else, and it doesn't. The contrast is huge. The difference is real. And I get it, I'm a stubborn New Yorker who thought I could conquer the world myself. But we can't know what it can do for us in our lives if we don't let it into our lives. How can we think the gospel isn't for us if we aren't learning about it and living it? How can we make that decision if we don't actually know what it really is? We can't. Heavenly Father knew what I needed before I ever did. And ever since then, God has continued to show me the greater thing forever grateful for giving God a chance. I wouldn't have a single thing I have now.